Hi guys, while rewatching my own video about this brewing machine over here, I just had some thoughts and I wanted to make a quick addendum and well show you some of the ideas I just had while rewatching my own video. It's nothing big, but it's maybe interesting for some of you. So first of all, you can uh, remove all this stuff over here and add the timer to this place over here without any wires so you can save a little space if you're running tight that's no problem you do not need the lever because when as I already said in the previous video if there are no more ingredients left in the input chest or the output chest is full the machine will cease operation uh, by its on its own, so you don't have to turn it off really. So output uh, off switch is optional in this case. So you see we'll be reducing the size of the machine a little more. And to facilitate that even more, you could also add a battery box over here. Remove this cable, just add a battery box like so. As you can see, you'll have to cover the battery box up or some of the ingredients will go into the new slots that are actually meant for batteries. And I just uh, skewed the, the direction, uh, no, no, not the direction, the, the order of the brewing, so I just have to correct that manually by adding the right recipe now, but now since I added the cover, no more of the ingredients can go into the battery box and clock that up. So you need to add this cover over here. And well, you can charge up your battery box by using power through cable, or you could also get a regular electricity battery I don't have any lying around right now. So you could put them into, I think, the top slot, I'm not quite sure, um, and it will charge up a battery, and you can transfer the power into another battery box from there. But even there, um, this is enough power for a very long time of operation for the sorting machine, so I will just show you that the machine is very compact by removing all the unnecessary blocks like so. As you can see, the machine is now two blocks wide, two blocks high, and three blocks long. And well, four of these are double chests. Uh, the blocks below are also decorational, so I just put them down there so I had some orientation, but you don't need them. Even the brewing stand will stand in free air. As you can see, you can reduce the size of this whole machine to, well, two by two by three blocks, and that's very compact for such a, well, sophisticated automation, I think. So that's a random. Thanks for listening to that too, and See you around.